Hi, in this video I will talk a bit about the center lock disc mounting system and explain why I think it is better and safer system compared to the six bolt system where the disc is held on to the hub using six bolts. Here, let's remove this. I'll show it now. The disc is mounted using this nut. I need to loosen it. This one was not very tight to the proper torque, but here now, once I loosen it, you can see it has the threads and that's, there's a thread on the inside of the hub so that allows this to be screwed in and the disc is slid onto these like sort of protrusions, slides, splines, I think is the proper English term and it has this on the inside, inside so when these interlace there is no way for the turning force to turn it around and all this pressure is held on to his, the disc is trying to push the hub in, inside and it's not trying to break it to drip off and it cannot move in this direction and now to secure it in place you can see that this one has some splines as well on this in, inner side just like the disc this also has some splines on the on its front edge. And so those two interlock when there's pressure. When you screw it in, when you tighten it to the pro proper specified torque. Now I'll try to visual, visualize what happens without using any computer aided software. So when those uh, notches on the nut, on the locking ring and on the disc interlace, you get something like this, as you are tightening it, they are further further interlaced between each other, so they are almost completely parallel. And if you want to unscrew the, the nut or, or screw it in, you, the, those splines first need to overcome each other, to like climb on top of each other and then get into, to the second slot until it is so unscrewed that they are again separated completely and that is what prevents the lock ring from uh, unscrewing by itself uh, under road vibrations or any kind of force or, or movement unlike when you have a six bolt system because bolts do not have this interlocking system they are flat their their inner side is, is flat and definitely the the discs for for those systems have flat sides so they have nothing to dig into and whenever you're using any kind of screw fixing mechanism with nuts and bolts, they rely on the preload, on that tension, but if there's any sort of movement or extra force, or they will tend to move in the direction of lower preload. So they will gradually, slowly untwist, and you have to recheck those. How to visualize that is you can find a nut and a bolt that are very loose fit and screw the nut, nut, nut on and then just keep it downwards and rock the and, and vibrate the bolt and the nut will slowly generally try to unscrew itself or you can put some sort of pen and put some things on it pieces small whatever and then just put the pen at an angle so that they don't slide immediately directly but just put it at a slight angle and then start rocking it uh, creating some sort of vibrations and anything that is on it will start moving gradually to the in the direction where the gravity draws them. That is the similar principle that happens with these nut and bolt uh, connections. And that is why I think that the six bolt mounting system is inherently unsafe. It's uh, not proper engineering and uh, some manufacturers even recommend putting some thread locker or glue on the threads of those nuts before you tighten the disc, which I don't think is proper solution. I and mean, it's it looks like uh, not something serious. So um, a lot of high-end hubs with cartridge bearings today I see come with that six uh, bolt mounting system, and for me that's unacceptable. I don't know the reason. Maybe Shimano patented this, so no one else can use that patent. But I'm not sure how you can patent. A, a brick, you know, it's 
like a notched system, you know, make a different diameter if you have to, even though we don't need any more s standards in cycling industry, we need fewer. But uh, I, I think that this is the proper way to do it and uh, this is how a disc brake hub should look like and how a disc should be attached. So it's secured from turning around relative to the, to the hub because of those splines it is mounted on. It does not exert any turning pressure on the bolts holding it because this system is different. With the six bolt system that turning force is prevented also by those bolts to, to the greatest degree and by the friction created between the hub and the disc when the, those bolts put preload. But this is a lot safer. It's, there's a physical barrier preventing it from turning and this lock nut keeping it in place from sliding off is also self-securing. So it's a, it's a great system, a great patent. That's what I would call good engineering that provides for relatively low weight. Uh, you don't need a huge amount of materials and it is inherently secure. Uh, thank you for watching and cheers.